How's everyone doing? My name is Pastor Ryan. I'm the kids pastor here at Calvary Christian Church. And today I want to talk about loving God most, right? If I was to ask you, do you love God? You might say yes, but how much? Do you love God more than your spouse? Do you love God more than your children? Do you love God more than your own life? Because in Genesis chapter 22, uh, verses 7 to 12, we read about uh, God. He tests Abraham and he commands him to offer his son Isaac up on, a, on an altar as a burnt offering. And we're going to read about what Abraham does. Verse 7, And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went, both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told them, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to, to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. This is Abraham's son. Why would God be telling him to do this? But God wanted to know, can he trust Abraham? Does Abraham love me more than anything else in this world? Is Abraham willing to be obedient? Does Abraham fear God? And I believe Abraham passed the test here, right? He didn't have to sacrifice his son. This was only a test. And then we turn to Luke chapter 14, verse 26. It says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, and yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. That word hate simply means love less. Unless you love your children less than God, unless you love your parents, your spouse less than God, you cannot be a disciple of Jesus Christ. These are some pretty strong words, but they can teach us something very important. Are you willing to put God first? Do whatever he's called you to do. Are you willing to love God more than everything else in your life? Because the first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength. And so then we turn to Revelation chapter 12, 11, and it says, and they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. That third part there, they loved not their own lives even unto death. See, we're called to give up everything that we thought we were created to be, to be all that God has created us to be, right? It's giving up our wants, our desires, our passions to do the will of God. Jesus said, my food is to do the will of my Father. If we wanna be a disciple, if we wanna do all that God has called us to be, if we wanna reach a level of obedience, reach a level of intimacy, relationship, we need to love God more than everything else in our life. And so let me ask you today, you may say you love God, but do you love God most? Do you love God more than your family? Do you love God more than your own life? Because today I wanna to encourage you, put him first, do all that he's called you to do, and you will reach a level of intimacy that you didn't even know existed. Have a good one and God bless.